Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Regular time. Um, whatever it is regular time, right? Y'all need to be careful who you make friends with. You know, no way I mean. Don't mind me. I'm charging the shit. Because I'm, a I'm not really a responsible doll, but still, I try to be anyway. Uh, yeah, I only need to be careful about who you make friends with at this point. Yeah, some people are crazy. Some people might be a little bit dangerous. Some people are going to use whatever it is that they can think of about you to say whatever, you know. Dangerous, dangerous aspects. Right? Libra. There is something that sits in the sign of Libra. First quarter, possibly the moon. The moon's going into Capricorn right now. So it'll be like mom and dad are both home and they're ready to both beat your ass. They're just gonna take a turn. Mom goes first. <laughs> Mom always goes first. Mom gets to go first because she's just frustrated. She knows she ain't gonna do nothing. Dad, though. Which is interesting. What was it? I said this before, but like at one point, Cancer and Capricorn were considered the exact opposite. Cancer was the daddy sign, Capricorn was the mother sign. That makes so much sense to you. Speaking of Cancer, more for you, dear. Definitely with the water. I'll say it definitely affects the water during the waning crescent. The sun could be in a water sign as well as Cancer at some point. Actually, the sun's in Cancer right now, so this could have been like previously, because wasn't the moon in Libra at some time before? Does it go backwards? I don't fucking know. It could have been during this time before the full moon. I don't know. I haven't done star dates in a really long time, honestly. Air. Pallas. You want to? You can pause to read that. That actually makes it easier. Uh, Asteroid refers to as Pallas Athena. Represents wisdom, creative intelligence, and reason. When she appears in your chart, she can help you understand how to seek knowledge and solve fucking problems. Well, the fucking part I added in, but you know what I mean. Um, Pallas is also associated with warfare, can indicate where you take matters into your own hands, creating a plan. I almost said pain. Plan of action. It's probably a pain to plan this shit, though. Around major life changing opportunities. You might be thinking that's probably what the air is for. And there might be a solar eclipse coming up. Hmm. There could be a series of plans that someone was going through. Someone was thinking about them in the first quarter. And then during cancer season, they probably got in their feelings during a waning crescent. Or something like that. It's like before returning to the new moon. So it's like between the last... It could be between like before it started being the full moon. And it might go into a water sign after the full moon. I don't know. But either way, someone's been thinking, how long I'm going to take this plan of action? Might execute it during solar eclipse. That's what we got for the start date, right? Pay attention, Clay. So let us visit a world of wonders, a world of cards. A world figuring out what the fuck is going on Cause we have no idea At least I don't I have no idea what the fuck Like, actually Oh, they're all over here I had them separated from the view I need to drink my coke Honestly, I've been able to sit here this entire time It's just like, are you going to take a sip? And I'm like, I don't know Don't pressure me, you know? Sorry, I'm like fixing these because they just got all like perfluffled. Just had them laying on the bed. They all ended up twisting around. Okay, that should be all right. I hope that's all right. Okay, so. Let us see what's going on, y'all. 
and all sides read for resonates fantastic if it doesn't don't be popping that shit page of pentacles reverse capricorn taurus for you know, an idiot incapable of really I mean, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, right? They're not able to adapt or they refuse to look forward in order to adapt since he's facing towards the left. You know, let's push this one. I forgot how big this board was on camera. There, you can see it a little better now. He's right here. Well, fuck it, let's just do six ways. I'm in the mood. Someone doesn't want to make an offer to this motherfucker. I just don't want to... Um, think that they're going to take the opportunity or use it wisely. This is a very mature person. Could be a younger earth sign, someone younger than you. Doesn't have to be an earth sign. Could just be it's someone in that energy where they feel like they know exactly what to do and they don't have to listen to shit. That attitude, right? We got two small books that popped up. Something's going on with this individual. They can't escape something, but they're keeping secrets. Cancer Pisces energy in that. There is an ending they also want to attend to, but this also requires them to play the game. Mm, maybe that's what that plan of action's for. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're very wise. They're not very good at it, you know? The situation is the Ten of Cups happiness, so why do you need a plan of action if you're happy? Seems like someone's pretty happy. Wants and wishes. I never... Oh, God, this motherfucker just likes shit. Okay. Well, that's the wants and wishes. This is the obstacles and challenges, my bad. Page one's reverse. Just rushing in without really understanding or conducting yourself properly in a situation. You know, page one's reverse to me is always someone with dirty feet trying to talk shit about you. It's just like, look at your goddamn feet. They're black. <clears throat> They're blacker than you, you know? Like, you're just kind of sitting there like, how are you going to talk to me looking like that? How are you going to talk to me about how I conduct myself, right? This is like Monique when she says she wants to help black women, but she only does so by insulting black women, that kind of shit. That's what it reminds me. It's like, I want to help. Oh, you really do, do you? Oh, okay. I, I did. I had no idea. Not by the way you were fucking behaving, but that, but like, it, it, the thing is, it doesn't seem too hostile. It really doesn't. So maybe I'm just jumping to conclusions with my own, but this person's already kind of getting on my nerves with her shit. And fears of rejections, King of Pentacles. Now, see, this is what I'm goddamn talking about. That don't make any damn sense. Why is there such fear? Better yet, why does it feel so misplaced? Whose is this person's daddy? Now, this doesn't have to be the same person. This is somebody in a different sort of category. They could actually be trying to come the way. They just don't know how to. There's a whole habitus situation. Someone wants to come with folly. It's the same old bullshit. That's a fear with this person. Whoever this is who's incapable of actually, um... Being an adult, I'll say. That's what it's... Oh. I'm sorry, there are two dropped right here. Ace of Wands reverse, Knight of Swords reverse, coming, like, who's coming in with this, like, don't be coming back in here with your BS, and they just dance in, singing some, like, ignorant shit. Mm. <coughs> this is never gonna happen, I don't know why you did it, like, that's, uh, they're annoying. They're annoying. How the shit starts out and they're causing their own fucking problems. Every time this individual possibly opens their mouth, they are just bitching and crying about things. But it's stuff that they cause to happen. You know, like, this is upside down, so gravity doesn't work. 
like that, right? It's still gonna hit you in the face. So now this person's just digging up the onions and hitting themselves in the face with it on purpose. Being like, I can't believe it. It's just like, this is like a person who goes through your phone just to look for an argument to have with you. It's just like, okay, but you're going through my personal shit, my private shit, you know. <laughs> you know, women will only go through a phone because we know something's up. Men go through phone just to look for a reason for something to be up. You know, that's one thing I've learned a little bit lately. But it, honestly, like a phone is like a personal journal. Like you have no right get if the if the cops need a warrant to go through your phone, like they do your house. What makes you think you have a warrant to go through someone else's phone? That's what it reminds me of. It's like someone who looks for shit just to get upset about it, almost right. I was about to pull the, uh, the beginning theme, but here we got someone's got, like, some image, right? Someone's got an image, but they're not sure which head to cut off. You know, like, no matter which head gets cut off, one dies from being beheaded, the other dies from blood loss, because, uh, yeah, like, this body's conjoined completely. They can't survive without each other. No, this person's just feeling all sorts of kind of ways in the King of like, Cups, just being like, I would be manipulative as fuck. Meanwhile, this person's got a whole bunch of shit to deal with to the point where maybe they're just a little bit nasty. Not necessarily being a liar about it, but it's like the Emperor pops up. Mm. And now someone just wants to come back in from the cold. It's just like, I'm sorry, Daddy. Daddy. Right? That, oh, you're digging a lot. Someone's calling someone daddy. And it just... What? Who's calling someone daddy? That is so weird. Temperance reverse. Sagittarian energy. Someone just lost their shit. Someone's losing their shit. Someone's losing their patience. Probably daddy. I don't know. Which is weird fire and earth that's like a drying out scorching kind of feel that's the beginning thing huh well they are a drunken necromancer at that when they get drunk they do dumb shit that's what they do they do dumb shit with the dead i reckon they ask for power from a being so how will that end because this is some spiritual warfare starter kit shit. Like an anthill full of herpes. Is there one behind there too? Because a lot's showing. The beatings will continue until morale improves. Oh dear. And they gain chick change from a tip jar well on camera. Are you a practitioner or are you an opportunist? Mm. I stab people three or four every day. I cut down a lot, though. Like, oh, okay, but th that doesn't answer the question. It doesn't matter how many people you stab, you still stab someone, isn't it? Someone's gonna break through the fourth wall. Is someone's gonna is someone looking at themselves or is someone looking at somebody or did someone idolize the wrong motherfucker? Because the music's getting way more intense. Like some murder she wrote feels. So, let's see. Uh, Page of Pentacles Reverse. Probably the main character. Probably a dude. Probably a dude. Maybe they're fucking stupid. I don't know. They could be ignorant. They could be too... Um, involved with what they think... It is, like, you're not really good at fixing anything. I'll put it that way. Someone is not good with fixing something. Or they're incapable of it, or, or it's just someone's actions and behaviors in general. They could be the feminine, the fem, the, oh my god, the feminine energy or the female in this. I'm not gonna stop saying fem, fem, feminine and masculine, honestly, because it's just stupid. It's like, it's either a man or a woman, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Uh, you're either a dude or you're a chick. Because honestly, like, masculine and feminine, people get too deep into that, I think. You know, 
I, I, I hear people would be like, you act too feminine and you act too masculine. And it's just like, you know, we're supposed to have both, right? And it's just, that's just tease and annoying to me. Someone's going to receive some unexpected money from someone. Or that's what the situation's supposed to be. Someone's slaving away all day and they're off school and town is just not being as ignorant as they want to be. Which I don't know if that's gonna help. This person has expectations when it comes to them like doing some self-fulfilling prophecy shit, working themselves endlessly to the bone, doing the same thing in and out day after day. It's just really like when it when's something gonna come up? When is something gonna come up? I don't know, bro. I don't know. When is something gonna come up? I mean, is somebody supposed to come up? Cause like this Eight of Pentacles right here, he's melting the Pentacles back down just for them to sit back down through the bottom, to come melting back forth just to form so he could do the exact same shit all over again. It's a never ending cycle. I go to work to live in my house that I barely get to pay live in because I have to go to work. Circular reasoning. This person has expectations to come from that. It's just like, how do you expect anything more than what you've already been doing? What, what, I don't know if they're planning something, expecting something to happen. I don't know if they're, it, it, like, there's an unexpected money right here. This is the situation. But this person has an expectation while they're still doing the same shit, so it's just like... <clears throat> What's Daddy mad about this time? Because Daddy seems like he's really frustrated for someone else getting something. Mind you, this person is a very, uh, whatever, but they are the main character, too. Which is weird. Mmm. Yeah, this person doesn't like how another person thinks at all. This could be somebody's son. This is a father and son, I think. This is interesting. This is very interesting. I'm not sure what to make of either of these idiots, but it's, it's definitely somebody's daddy. I don't know if it's that kind of daddy, but it's someone's daddy. And the King of Pentacles is screaming daddy at me. I can feel Saturn coming out that motherfucker. Like, you're, someone's got Capricorn in their chart strong for sure, because it's not as uncomfortable as I thought it'd be now that I'm looking at this. It's just like, oh, okay, now I see why, like, someone's acting like someone's father. Why you call them daddy? Because, you, 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 like, this is literally, like, someone's dad. What's up with daddy? Mm. This is my house. What the fuck? What? Who's dad? Whose dad is this? Someone's dad might be a drunken asshole. Like he does the same routine over and over again. And someone's worried about him losing his shit on the handle. They might have an expectation about someone else's money that they're getting. <clears throat> the fuck? Is that Joe Coy? Oh, it is! Oh my god. I love him. I don't want to just... I, I don't want to watch this ad. Okay, thank you. I might cut that up. But man, Joe Coy is like so cool. I love him. Oh! Oh boy. So we were just a daddy in his house, and now we're about to get the how this shit started, how it ends. Daddy's whipping some ass. Oh boy. With, with the omen music, but wow. This person keeps making up their own issues, their own excuses, their own problems. Or they come up with reasons for why they're gonna act this way. Because I feel like this is the daddy person. And this person over here who doesn't really know what the fuck they're doing. They're the main character of the story. But whoever their dad is, or their daddy.
somewhere along the way there's something going wrong with this but at the same time they're worried the daddy's worried about this person who is the main character but this is their energy this is how they're reacting to all of this especially this person they're trying to vibe with this kid right here i think in all the wrong ways she's a rich girl she's a very rich girl oh god what the fuck so yeah it is a woman getting money somebody's attached to a woman who's getting like up on the ladder someone's dealing with a rich girl they might even get married to that bitch. They're making excuses for her. Coming up with reasons for her. Is someone not inviting their father to a wedding or something? Or do they get into it about their getting married to this bitch? Because someone's dad's working really hard. Despite the fact that their kid's afraid that they're just going to lose their shit. For whatever reason, I don't know. I have no idea why they're scared of their father just losing their fucking minds on them and everything. It's, it's actually a very curious reading for me. I'm sorry, I just want to pretend to be a doggy. <laughs> Means I'm a dog in this fucking deck. Mm. <clears throat> the shame. All right. So, what's with this main character in this Page of Pentacles reverse? Why does it seem like an idiot to his dad? Which is well, like that's what I assume most fathers think of their sons, but I I always thought that was just some male bonding shit. I'm not a man, so I don't know. Like my dad used to pick me up on my legs and swing me around. That's the kind of girl I grew up to be. Okay, I grew up with, like a daddy's girl, so. I don't understand how a daddy's boy works at all. But I feel like, like, like this person, like, cares a lot about their son. I think. Because I look at them as, as the main character. But the expectations. I mean, a big old plate of fish. Eat a treats. You're enjoying stuff. That's a good thing, though, right? They're, they're, they ain't hungry. But the cat's dead. They're, the cat isn't committed to living anymore. It's time to put the motherfucker down. He's dying. He got cancer. He's got earwax that clogs his ears. He doesn't even know what he gets fed. He can't even find his bowl anymore. He pisses lakes in the basement, and we didn't even know until two weeks later. The cat's going to die. Like, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, someone getting comfortable. Or trying to be comfortable when they get the heart broken, when they get their heart eaten, because, you know, there's only two hearts left after the cat munches it away. Why is the cat eating that? Probably because it's made of paper. It's fragile, it's easy to break the puncher with your teeth. Someone's kind of bracing for that. Ten of Cups with this unexpected money. There's a whole family situation here, possibly. Someone's... Get, some bitch got some money or whatever. DJ Ball! It could be a Capricorn. The doggy dogs. There's a good be someone with Capricorn, right? They seem pretty friendly enough, but at the same time, it seems like they're too focused on, the, on playing with the pentacles and they are getting the treats that they got the pentacles for to begin with. The world is its kind of fucked up, and so, but someone doesn't want to leave. Someone doesn't want their nail clipped. Something's, fu someone, something's fucked up with a person. This female could be Capricorn, I don't know. Hmm. Someone's just biding their time before they go get the treat. Despite the fact that other person isn't communicating to them. Jesus Christ with the eye. Oh, so annoying. Worst part is YouTube doesn't even show you where the ads are anymore, so you just can't skip right behind them and then like it gets knocked out. That's how I used to do it. I would go through a video and click, 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 click right behind an ad. YouTube hid that shit because you know YouTube was just like, God damn it, y'all need to quit being smart. Now I gotta hide this from you. It's like bullshit. I feel like she's hiding something too. 
But this individual also makes excuses. Somebody needs to make a choice or decision. Which teeth are you going to use? You only got two. Make a decision. And someone wants to be calm when they get pets, but at the same time they're kind of confused. <laughs> that's, that's what, like, I don't like any of this kind of food. None of this is even cat food. But yeah, I'll take pet like rub, sure. Like, someone's really confused in this scenario. It's like, why am I getting coddled when I'm not getting what I'm supposed to be getting? Well, let me have some patience. Oh, Lord. Someone's expecting a result and trying to figure out what to do. On one side, they're going to be patient, but they're turning into a drunk bastard, so the patience isn't going to work for very long, especially if they get drunk anytime soon. So if you're wanting to, like, get on someone's ass or show them how annoyed you are with their presence, don't, don't be drinking. Like, don't become a Scorpio and, and suddenly become honest with the motherfucker once there's liquor in your system. Don't do that. Stay away from them and alcohol if you're gonna react that way. It's not a good idea. Or you just go off on someone because the results don't seem to be coming in the way that they should. The expectation with this person doing the same thing every day. They notice that this person isn't really doing much of anything. And, but they're still trying to someone is still trying to portray this idea that they're taking a leap of faith in someone I'm like I'm not seeing any results I don't know if I believe you but I'm gonna keep going with you and it's like <clears throat> seriously if you have an issue with somebody for what they're doing maybe if they owe you something I don't know. Maybe it's better you just avoid them if this is you. Instead of trying to engage in the situation. Because this doesn't feel like something where it's like a... Oh. Sure, we have this issue. Um, but we're working... No, 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 no. Whatever it is that you're looking at them for, or what this person's looking at this other individual for, or I don't know, whatever it is that they're focused on about this person has nothing to do with anything in their relationship. This is all based on whoever this person is. In a drunken state, or their potential drunken state, or what they really think, but it won't come out until they actually start drinking. This person doesn't actually believe in their possible child. As much as they believe that their child should uphold some type of ideation of being perfect in their eyes. You know, like, my son has done this, doesn't know that their kid got kicked out of college because they were sick of this shit. My kid it's going to be one of these great potential motherfuckers and the kid does the exact opposite. This is a helicopter parent who's about to be disappointed that their child is nothing the way they imagined them to be and is angry that that kid is, um, well, becoming who they want to be. Whether the parent agrees or not is beside the point. This is a man angry at his son, who is also a man for not being the man he wants him to be, even though I don't know if this father figure is even close to the man that he should be before judging another person. And he's worried about his bitch, and it's like, what the fuck? The world's all fucked up in this situation. I think this person recognizes this. The individual over here, I think they recognize this. You know, they're developing themselves, but now this commitment, this old cat that they, that these two individuals, the representation of the cat anyway, this old ass cat that hasn't died has finally died. This person is ending up bracing for a heartbreak, even though they're the ones who are chewing on the heart to begin with. This other person is just like, I don't get it. 
that's what I feel. Fears and rejections. Daddy coming in like an asshole. That's what this person's got their thoughts about. It's like, how is he going to react to this? How is he going to react to that? Uh, this person doesn't even want to try to tell this person the truth. They kind of just want to let, let you let them think whatever they want to think. Honestly. Let them cherish and beloved them as much as they want to. Now, this person is looking for treats and they are definitely playing with the toy to get the treats. But it's just enough for them to emotionally leave them alone. They're just dipping their hand in a little bit, but they're not going to go in and just knock the cups over because the water's running, right? This person's scared to tell their father the truth about something. Maybe it's about this girl. Maybe they don't want their father meeting her or something. Maybe they live with their dad. Yeah, I am the sun. Could be Leo energy. They, they're they emulated. They are beloved. What the fuck is this person's problem? They got a lot of... They don't really like it. Like, they're Snoopy. They're just scratching the walls just to get someone to yell at them for attention. Motherfucker don't even need the attention. But it helps alleviate their tension. Ooh, look at me snazzy with the words. Hmm? Anything just to release that claw feeling. But this person still doesn't give it up any information. There's something about this woman, I think. A rich girl. Someone's making excuses. She could be the one making excuses. I don't know, but I don't feel like she is. I think she's just there as a shadowy figure. Um... Hidden in the night like fucking Batman. You don't know when she's coming. You just know that like when 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 you see a bat, it, it's time to go. This is why you wear a helmet. That way the bats don't get you, especially if they're man-sized. Let's see. This hanging pentacles with the house. That's a fair objection. Daddy could throw somebody out. King of Pentacles for first. Oh, he'd be eating all of his treats and, like, be starved for weeks. Or worse, get sick. He just shows his face in the jar and shuts the fuck up. Or he overindulges, and that's the problem. Yeah, now there's only one pentacle left. This motherfucker eats everything and then just leaves a little bit for one person. I'm sorry, but this guy is selfish. And someone's supposed to make that shit work. Or someone was overindulgent in their father's services and now their dad's like, here, you get a dollar a month. That's your fucking allowance. So now that person's got to make that shit work. Or they're getting cut off somehow. Like your dad's cutting them off because they overindulge. I mean, this could be a daughter too, but it feels like a son. Maybe she's like more doodle. Well, masculine, as I said, I wasn't going to say, but it could be that situation. Or she's just like, daddy's girl. Motherfucker is not amused. They want to fight. They're not comfortable. They're very uncomfortable. Hmm. This is a very interesting song to pop up. I didn't even pay attention. She's a rich girl. She's a very rich girl. Why? Okay, so someone is making up excuses for a rich girl, or she is? I feel like someone's making more excuses for her than she's making excuses, but it could be that scenario. The aunt's got leaves. I'm not afraid. Why are you not afraid? She's, this part, whoever this girl is, she's not too worried because she knows that someone just wants to get her attention. In order to tear up the carpet right in front of her and be like, you're not getting rid of me. <laughs> like, is she, I don't think she's playing games with people. Is the issue. Oh, now she comes in singing like death. That's nice. Someone has to be very strategic, cause she, or she's talking. No, she's talking about how someone's been strategically doing things. Setting trap after trap, trying to get the upper hand. Like if I can't get this mouse, I'll just knock this one over and see if you come into play. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, now there's some balance here. Hmm. Not very nice. Not very nice at all. Hmm. Someone's dad could be a total asshole. But I also have this feeling that this woman right here... She will beat you like the man who raised her, which is her father by title, you know? I'm just, I'm just like, that's what I'm getting here. This is like... <clears throat> Sir, you've been bullying me and my man this entire time, and I'm sick of this shit. I'm about to whip your fucking ass. Do you accept? Well, I'm not really one of the fight females. That's too bad, because I have no problem fighting women or men. Step up. That's that's kind of what I'm feeling with this. Like, someone just... Someone goes off in a some drunken state, or they can't help but be a drinker. And someone's woman, I, I, I think their son's woman, or even their daughter, it just... She's just like, fuck it. King, king, king. We're going. We're going. We're going. That's that's literally what I'm getting here. Like someone's child sick of their dad's shit. Their father could cut them off for them standing up to them, though. That's like a thing. It's a fear of rejection. Like, don't cut me off, dad. But you're an asshole. You really think your dad wants to hear that? No man wants to hear about how they were the bad guy. None of them. You're just crazy. That's what they say. Hmm. But yeah. That's pretty much what I got for this energy, so... Look alive and pay attention to that, because, yeah. Someone's gonna get into it with their parent. Possibly about money. But that's what I got. Be safe, stay suspicious, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.